Hi guys, I'm here to give you my prediction on a playing tournament coming out on the NBA very very soon. So I'm gonna start with the East because I believe the East is uh, sort of a little bit more predictable than the West is. So first game on the East we got the Chicago Bulls uh, squaring up with the Atlanta Hawks. So wow, what can I say? It's gonna be a hell of a game. Definitely the playoffs is always a hell of a game. Uh, Atlanta rely on uh, on their points guards a lot and uh, Chicago rely on their shooting guards and also on a good uh, center that they have over there. But my prediction for this game, I'm going to go with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, Chicago Bulls beats Atlanta Hawks and uh, goes to the second play-in or another chance to get into the playoffs. The second game is going to be on Wednesday, uh, so both of these games are going to be on Wednesday, uh, USA time uh, in Australia. It's going to be Thursday morning, uh, lunchtime sort of thing. Now, the second game is the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, they're going to square up with Jimmy Butler and also the Miami Heat. So, as we know, Jimmy Butler was a Philadelphia player. Uh, he left in not so good terms so he always has a, a ship on his back when he plays this Philadelphia 76ers and he's gonna go all in so uh, obviously MB is back and he's doing what MB does still very effective uh, it doesn't look like he, he missed any time at all uh, he played two great games to end up the uh, the regular season so uh, it's gonna be a hell of a fight is uh, expected in a playoff game uh, but I actually believe that the Philadelphia 76ers are going to have the upper hand and uh, win this game and go straight to the seventh seat. Uh, what is going to happen if my prediction is right, uh, the Miami Heat will then face the uh, Chicago Bulls on a do or die game, which I believe Jimmy Butler again will come up on top and the Miami Heat is going to end up on the eighth seat, uh, while the, seven, the Philadelphia 76ers are, are going to end up on the seventh seat. So, meaning that if this happens, uh, Miami is going to face the mighty uh, Boston Celtics, best uh, best record in the league. They look to be very very healthy. They haven't had any many injuries this year. Uh, the medical staff they are doing obviously a great job. Rosinga has seemed to be okay. So it's going to be a hell of a game. Uh, I won't talk about this game as yet because I'm going to leave the actually playoffs for the next video that is going to come up soon, uh, very, very soon on your, on your, on your screen. Uh, if this happens, the New York Knicks, uh, unfortunately, are going to have to face the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. So again, I'm not going to talk about this playoff or who I believe is going to win, uh, but I believe, you know, it's going to be a crack off a game and I hope you know the best black team wins carrying on here I'm gonna now uh, shift my attentions to the West and uh, we're gonna start with the uh, Golden State Warriors and the Sacramento Kings so we know how kind of playoffs they had last year so imagine uh, putting this crazy series that it was last year into one single game which the winner goes forward and the loser is pretty much out of the playoffs altogether so the Aaron Fox, Sabonis, those boys are doing really really well they are well coached, well prepared I think they're gonna have a, a great game uh, but I still believe the Golden State Warriors are, with the experience they have uh, with uh, Draymond Green doing what Draymond Green does I hope he doesn't get suspended I actually believe that the Golden State Warriors are going to win this game, eliminate the uh, Kings and have another shot to go to the playoffs going on the next round. Uh, the last but not least, LA Lakers and the uh, Pelicans. So it's going to be, I mean they just played not a day ago. Uh, the Lakers obviously dominated in, uh, in the Pelicans home. But, uh, you know, obviously they, the Pelican learned something from their loss and they're going to come up, you know, with uh, uh, some different strategy. And, you know, I, I you know, with Zion Williamson and 
McCallum and my guy Dyson Daniel so and you know it's gonna be a, a hell of a, a game and you know but I still believe the experience is gonna prevail and the uh, mighty LA Lakers and LeBron James are gonna come on top and uh, go and become the seventh seat so if this happens obviously the uh, Pelicans have got a, a New Orleans have got another chance while the uh, LA Lakers they go straight to number uh, seated at number seven and they are probably gonna be facing the their rivals the team they beat them last year so yeah Jokic and yeah all the champions you know what I mean anyway again I won't talk about this as yet I'll leave it for the next video when I'm gonna actually talk about the playoffs well if this happens I'm just assuming my prediction is right uh, it means that the Golden State Warriors are gonna play the New Orleans Pelicans for the eighth seed uh, again it's gonna be a hell of a game I mean uh, I just think that uh, the Golden State Warriors experience with Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson and all that uh, are gonna come up at the upper hand, are gonna have the upper hand and win this game and become the eighth seed and therefore they're gonna face the young Oklahoma City uh, with John, John Guild and Alexander and Josh Kitty, my guy. So hopefully, you know, they're gonna be a. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, the, look, I, I'm hoping it's gonna be a serious goal for a long time. I mean, it goes further, not a, a, a sweep or anything like that. So this is all I wish for this series to go. So, like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about the actually playoffs who wins who I believe is gonna win and get to uh, the playoffs and so on and this is just this video for the playing tournament and what the, if my prediction goes right where they're gonna be seated and who they're gonna face so excuse me anyway uh, yeah so uh, if you found this video you know valuable to you uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. I would like to hear your opinion. Uh, tell me what kind of video I should be doing, you know, whatever of your like. And, uh, you know, remember, remember to keep watching my content because it's very educational. So, uh, always when I come here, I talk about basketball, I talk about refereeing and rules and, you know, and uh, obviously I'm a human and I also like to share some of my own experiences why my thoughts and how i feel about certain things so instead of just giving you uh, a lot of a bunch of information then some of them you can find it yourself if you look hard enough uh, i thought i would uh, pretty much talk a little bit about uh start having a, a, a relationship between myself and you my subscriber my followers and uh, you know create a relationship all right so how was your weekend tell me about your weekend how was your week tell me about your week whenever you get this video uh let's talk let's have a conversation uh, i can tell you a little bit about my week slash weekend uh, i had a super super busy weekend uh, i pretty much started on wednesday so i'm um, thursday so thursday evening uh, i referee basketball game from uh, uh, 6 p.m uh, all the way to 10 30 p.m. at Monash University so I do referee uh, students at Monash University uh, either at Clayton campus or in Caulfield campus so this time I was in Clayton campus and uh, I had uh, uh, mixed teams so mixed competition where there is uh, girls and boys playing in the same competition and the, the, it has to be at least two girls on the court they sort of the rules but everything else goes normal in a normal basketball game. I enjoy reffing those kind of games, the, the communication with the players, the interaction between players and uh, boys, girls, girl, boys, girl, girls, boy, uh, is always very uh, entertaining and also very uh, educational, not just for them, but also for me. So I finished at 10 o'clock, 10.30 as I say, I go home, had a shower, had something to eat, went straight to sleep. Uh, the next morning on Friday, I had to go to MSEC because we had a three-on-three -three competition for young kids going on. So I got there about uh, 8.30, so it started about 9 o'clock, I think. So 
It's my old time when I used to go out and party and I was young like you. I always get to the party nice and early, first to arrive, last to leave. I like to, you know, to enjoy every moment of the party, every second, every aspect of the party, see everybody who came, when, and all that. So I got the nice and early, I was probably one of the last to leave. Uh, it was great competition, uh, between young uh, boys and girls, uh, three on three is a little bit different. I've got a video that I, I'll put it up here, so you can uh, see the rules and uh, how three on three uh, played as well. So yeah, I refereed the three on three from nine o'clock and, and uh, until three o'clock. Uh, I left at three o'clock, drove straight to Craigieburn. Uh, there was the Mill Park tournament happening in Craigieburn. That's where they sent me. So I refereed there from uh, four thirty to about ten o'clock again. I finished there, drove home. Same scenario: shower, food, go straight to sleep. Uh, next day, uh, Saturday, got up again at. Uh, nine o'clock so uh seven o'clock go up and left home i started refereeing at eight o'clock the mill park tournament but this time they sent me to eltham so i was in eltham uh from eight o'clock to about three o'clock uh from three o'clock i left eltham drove straight to my uh, big v appointment in coburg so luckily eltham to coburg is only about half an hour drive so i go to uh, uh coburg and referee division one women coburg versus uh, chelsea Hell of a game, great game. Uh, the girls play play hard and play really well. So I had a great partner and uh, we laughed a lot. Uh, we just, you know, enjoy each other's company and joke and had a great time on this uh, basketball game. Uh, finishing about uh, eight o'clock, I think it was. Drove back home, same scenario: shower, food, sleep again. Uh, next day, I, I had a bit of a uh, sleep in on Sunday, so I didn't get up until about 10 ish. I had a big V game in, uh, in Altona, so what I did is I usually wake up, I stretch, I have my breakfast, I talk to uh, you know the partner and uh, the people that are there at home, and then from there I take off, get to Altona nice and early. One hour before the game, I had Youth League one uh, man, so Altona played Camberwell. Hell of a game, hell of a game. We had a little bit of a hiccups, but in the second half, the whole second half was sweet. The boy played hard. Uh, Camberwell ended up winning, which was a bit of a surprise as Camberwell was sixth, sorry, tenth, and uh, Altona was uh, sixth on the ladder. But at this stage of the competition, it's way too early to tell who is going to be where, depending on the draw and so on and so on yeah this pretty much was my weekend oh actually i didn't finish there after my 12 o'clock game in altona i drove to mill park and i refereed three grand finals at mill park at the mill park tournament so this is pretty much uh, the life of a, a basketball referee so as i keep saying we need more referees because i struggle to referee all so many many games uh, in a row I'd rather have more referees coming up and taking over some of the games, but yeah, this is pretty much, uh, you know, I think I refereed all up about 30 games in the last uh, five days or so, including uh, two big V games. And also, tonight I've got another game, so that it never stops. I'm going back to Monash and referee again the same competition uh, that I referee last Thursday. So it never stops, as you can see, it never, never, never stops. Now, before you go away, make sure to watch this video over here and also this video over here. And in the middle where my face is, click on it, click on the subscribe uh, button and cl click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I have a new video coming and you don't miss any of these.